I'm Ilani Bonilla. And I'm Emily Brent. And this is the Labyrinth Challenge Code. We're back with another video. <sighs> Alright, so the Labyrinth Challenge Code, we once again use functions. To make life easier. Yeah, it really does. So we have, again, the move straight functions where the encoders are cleared. And um, when the left encoder is less than the encoder count that you insert in the code in the task main, the robot will move forward at full power. Uh, when you reference the turn left function, you enter the encoder count, and when the right encoder is less than that encoder count, uh, the right motor will move at full power while the left motor moves reverse in full power. S sort of similar for the turn right, except when the left encoder is less than the encoder count, the right motor goes negative, and the left motor goes positive. Therefore, turning a different way. And then we also start with the task main. Move straight for 1350, then turn left for 350. Move straight again for 1650, turn right for 320, move straight for, one, for 1100, turn right for 360, move straight for 700. And that's basically it for the code. Mm -hmm. You're just navigating through a maze. They're not perfect, but hey, gets, gets you through, through the maze. maze. <laughs> Jinx. No. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Demonstration time! Come on, little robot! Like the little engine that could. Okay, because we're gonna try again. It does this. As you've seen in some of our earlier videos, it's camera shy. And there we go! The virtual world, it's just bribing your robot to work. Yeah, but in real life, it's just 10 times harder. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching! Good luck! Yep, sorry of those who had to witness our failure, but that's okay! Bye-bye! Bye! -bye. Bye.